Hey guys, so earlier on the website, I shared a picture of a bunch of 15 millimeter rods and 15 millimeter clamps. And um, it was a little game for you guys to guess what it is and why I was sharing it. And somebody actually guessed it correctly. It's a gimbal stand that I wanted to put together. So I did build some DIY stands previously, uh, but some people didn't like how DIY it looked. And I actually have another stand here. I'll show you this stand. This is another stand that you can get for about $40. Um, it's aluminum. It's got some carbon fiber on it. It's pretty lightweight, but it doesn't break down. You can't disassemble it. You have to travel with it exactly like this. Um, you can adjust the width of it depending on your gimbal, but one of the problems you run into is as you go a certain width, the angle of these hooks over here change and it becomes difficult to actually mount your gimbal into this slot because um, as you adjust the angle, that slot kind of narrows. So it's a little tricky sometimes using it. Works great for the small gimbal though. Um, but one of the things was I couldn't fit it in a case. I had to travel with it just like this. So got me thinking about how I can get a frame together that's easy to break down, easy to assemble, easy to pack up. So 15 mil rods, 15 mil clamps works perfectly. So let me show you how it comes together. Um, now you don't have to use these exact 90 degree 15 millimeter clamps here. This is just an example. So I'm gonna put one over there. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So it looks fairly similar. Okay, so basically what I did was I used a 90 degree clamp here to have, um, I think these are 12 inch rods at the bottom, and then I'm using about an 18 inch rod vertically here. Now to keep these two together, that's where this little dog bone comes in. So there's only one dog bone clamp that we need. So we'll put that somewhere here. Now the good thing about this build is you can actually adjust the width of your base according to your needs. And you can make this stand bigger or smaller depending on the gimbal that you're using because you just buy different length uh, 15 mil rods. So this is kind of the core foundation right here. And then for our stand, we're just gonna add some 15 mil clamps here at the top. And going forward here, Another one going forward. Now your, you know, the top clamps and your base can be all different widths. It's all height adjustable, but this one here fits for something like my little gimbal over here. And that's it. So I have a nice little stand that I can kind of break down, pack into a small case that actually fits with my gimbal and then I just build it up as I need to go and I'm using aluminum rods right now because this is what I have on hand that seems to be the right size but you can certainly do all carbon fiber and uh, shave off pounds off of this setup and carbon fiber will still be very rigid to hold up you know a small gimbal like this now again you can make this bigger if you want to support a bigger gimbal you really just have to buy the right uh, size rod so Anyways, I'll have information about the lengths that I'm using for this particular setup. I've actually have a shopping list on the site of where I think you guys can get some of these parts and build a setup like this. Now your total setup may run close to $100 as opposed to something like this, which is about $40. But obviously there's a lot of benefits for being able to carry something that you can break down, fit into a small case, set up, uh, hugely adjustable in a lot of different ways. And uh, it looks cool. Looks pretty professional. So anyways, um, that's it. More information about this stuff. Check it out at the site, cheesycam.com.